Hello, my name is Mike Johnson, taking you on an inside and outside video tour of this 2015 Ford Explorer Police Interceptor. Now here's a copy of the original window sticker, shows how it was built. This one has the original 18 inch wheel covers, the family, family cruiser looking ones but the uh, it does have the black steel wheels so you have the choice of rim option you can go with the cop looking center caps or these center caps the cop looking silvery center caps cost extra this is no extra charge your wife will like it better looking like this probably maybe but uh, because you're more likely to stay out of trouble when it looks like this. <clears throat> but this is the former totally undercover, maybe not even with lights or siren, police interceptor. We didn't find any holes in it. No radio antenna on the roof. No stealth lights in the headlights. This one may not have had any emergency lights on it at all. This is a VIP configuration, so it's got carpet upholstery most of the cop cars have vinyl mat cloth seats front and back but it is a police interceptor it's got the full xlt center console goodyear eagle tires tinted windows all around color backup camera full size spare tire these are the wheels that you get there's five of them including a spare looks like brand new maybe never even driven on in the back there's no holes in the back window it didn't have lights in the back window it didn't have lights in the fenders it's pretty ship shape. It did have a fire extinguisher in it, but that's gone. This mount could be removed if it bothers you. Or you could put another fire extinguisher up there. <clears throat> that's all we found on it. Fire extinguisher. This has the parking sonar sensors, you know, the beep, 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 beep. But it also has the blind spot rear cross traffic alert and blind spot monitor system. With a blind spot monitor, when you're driving along in the freeway, if somebody's over here in your blind spot, like this graph, it gives you an alert. The light comes on and lets you know somebody's in your blind spot. If you're backing out of a blind uh, intersection, like by that wall over there, and you're backing up and a vehicle's approaching from up to 90 feet away, it'll give you an alert. Take a look at the roof. No antenna holes in the roof. Take a look at the engine. So the police interceptor gets a special engine that the regular Ford Explorers don't get. It gets a 3.7 liter those designs and comes with a Ford Mustang V6. Four valve per cylinder engine. High horsepower, very fast acceleration, and it all wheel drive. This is a 4x4, but it's done as all wheel drive. So it's full time all-wheel drive so when you jump on the high power high horsepower gas pedal and you charge forward it pulls with all four wheels at the same time so you don't do burnouts and stuff like that this one's extremely clean it's got tinted windows you can finance this vehicle if you want financing we support credit union direct financing so if you live in california or you live in some other state like Texas, Oklahoma, Maine, Montana, doesn't matter. You can go through your local credit union, get pre-approved for a loan, and then we'll send you a purchase order so you can pay for the vehicle and we can deliver it to you across the country. We can estimate and coordinate the delivery, even if you're not in California. This is a California-owned and used one owner again san diego county was the owner 
So that means it wasn't out in, they don't use road salt in California in the winter. So it's not all rusty and corroded underneath. It's clean. Watch this video on your giant TV in your house. You don't have to watch it on a little phone. Here's the last three digits of the VIN number. Here's actually the whole VIN number. The last three digits are 403 to differentiate it from any other. I already showed you the window sticker for it. Cloth seats, cloth carpet. Actual center console in here. Now, if you want a navigation system in here, we've done those. It actually costs about a thousand dollars to do uh, convert the air conditioning over to digital touch controls with a navigation screen in here but we can put that in for you or you can do that later now this one has low engine hours and low mileage it's 2015 it's only got 87 353 miles but the engine hours is more important than that so engine hours if this was an airplane you would not judge it by the mileage if it was a helicopter you wouldn't judge it by how many miles if it's a jumbo jet you don't decide it's worn out based on how many miles it's flown you look at the number of hours in service that has been used and uh, on a lot of police explorers especially the black and whites i've seen them with twenty thousand hours or more on the hour meters this one only has 3,805 hours, total hours. And if I scroll down the menu, it says 1,350 of those was idle time. So if you subtract the total hours minus the idle hours, that's about 2,455 hours. So then you can take that 2,455 hours and you can divide divide up the mileage 87,000 miles blah 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 divided by the 2500 hours shows the vehicle's average driving speed was 35 miles an hour so that's the type of use this vehicle had while it was driving it was driving an average of 35 miles an hour the rest of the time 1350 hours it was idling like what it's doing right now while we're taking video but let's go for a little drive demonstration drive by the way, it's really not easy to get these with low engine hours and in a total VIP detective configuration like this one is. <clears throat> so we accelerate. <coughs> nice and smooth. No bumps, no rattles, nothing loose. <clears throat> Everything's peaceful and quiet in here. Super smooth. Look, I let go of the steering wheel and drive straight. Make a U-turn here. This has really good handling. If you want to know how crazy you can drive one of these Ford Explorer police interceptors, just go on YouTube and watch some of the police chases where they're in a Ford Explorer and they're driving so crazy. Uh, we're not going to do that today. This is We're just going to do some nice, mellow cruising. But uh, it drives really well. I'm going to pull it into the parking lot and show you the backup camera in a second. Smooth stereo works now this has Ford sync but again we've on a, several of these on the 2015 and older <clears throat> it's easy to upgrade so as we drive around to this parking lot here demonstrate the backup camera And also, I'm going to re-bring up the blind spot monitor system. Look, here's a, some hedges here. I can actually see over these hedges. If I put it in reverse, the backup camera appears on the rear view mirror. If we change it to a navigation screen, it is possible to put the backup camera on the navigation screen 
on a larger screen and if you wanted to do that but as I do some backwards driving I'm gonna give you another blind spot monitor system demonstration <clears throat> Here's a big wall right here. You can't see anything past this wall. If you were parked next to a big truck or something and you put it in reverse, you can see the backup camera. But the blind spot monitor indicators, which are in the rear view mirrors, the little LED lights, those will blink if a vehicle is approaching or a pedestrian. And uh, that's called the bliss or blind spot uh, alert system driver assist feature and uh, most of these don't have it but this one does it's pretty nice thank you for watching my video tour of this 2015 Ford Explorer police interceptor in the dark silvery dark gray go to the website mybestcar.com see if it's still available and if you're watching this video on a little phone, don't watch on a little phone, watch on a computer screen, an iPad at least, or even better, that giant TV in your living room. If you want to watch on your TV in your living room, go open up your YouTube app on that big old smart TV and search YouTube for my channel, mybestcar.com. On YouTube, there's no dot. On the web, there's a dot, but on YouTube, they don't let you use the dot. If you're buying the vehicle, your check pays to the order of a buyer's choice or if you're financing the vehicle your lender will want a purchase order from us which means you have to call us call us at 951-681-2101 set up your purchase so that we can hold the vehicle for you before somebody else buys it instead of you and if you need it shipped across the country we can figure out how much that would cost most of the country is under a thousand dollars but if you go farther coast to coast it could be 1400 bucks but depends where you live how close are you to the interstate give us a call we'll be happy to work something up for you my name is mike johnson thank you for watching